Most people in America are familiar with the walk-by, the looky-loo, and, well, boo-hoo on you. These are terms that are used sometimes in di differently and appropriately in versions of what people do to police a community. Whether the person is an actually trained by certification and education and actually physical uh, exertion to be a law enforcement officer of some level of that justice system in America, or whether they're just a nosy neighbor like uh, Mrs. Kravitz that we used to see long ago in the television show Bewitched, we have to decide what we're going to be in American society, a bastard, a bitch, a Satanist, or just a good person in, in immorality. The sadness in America is that we have hate crimes happening every day. We recently had some hate crimes meet the, make the news, and then we got a hate crime bill addressing Asians and not everyone else. Or so it appeared by the titling of it. We also have been entitling titling new legislation with COVID, and I sort of get it because it gives the, in a historical reference in the future at what time period in America that it came forward, but at the same time I find it offensive because it's sort of a poor way of marketing something because if the person doesn't know what the actual thing is called, in the simplest of form, they might not be able to find it again. But before I digress too further, I want to say that people do not have the right to commit a hate crime. Because the Lord God above has made everyone unique and different is the first reasoning of a pagan priest, like me. But the second reason is because we have laws that protect our human safety in America, and most people, probably 95% of people, would agree that we don't want that to change. We don't want to be slip sliding into a slope of being the type of countries of the Middle East where they have the haves and the have nots, the super extreme rich people versus the total people living in poverty and squalor and no in between. The reality is that people who come here from overseas are expected and required to produce in advance that they have the money to finance their whole studentship or the reason that they come here. But at the same time, we're sort of ruining immigration by allowing people to come in for work without fully assessing their situation. We're also abusing American citizens by not producing a new law that says no more imports here. What we do not mean is in terms of people who are sophisticatedly teaching our people a new version of technology or a new version of things that we as American citizens are too stupid to figure out by someone doing a thorough investigation who has that background and that conceptual knowledge to know how to do that. But I guess what I'm saying is that hate crimes are on the rise in America because people like you and not people like me think that you have the right to do them. 